So I got a couple of emails about my teacup sketch and some people were struggling about drawing the ellipse. So I thought I would do it again and explain the process uh, in detail. So once I have the, uh, the size, the height and the width of this uh, glass of wine, to place the ellipse correctly, I will start with the biggest shape right there. Or before that, you want to divide and cut in half um, the cup. So the top part is slightly longer than the bottom part. And then I will cut in half the cup, like so, to, have, to control the symmetry. It should be the same size on the left side and, and on the right side. There, that's better. Next, the top of the wine is about two thirds and the top of the glass right there. So for each ellipse, I'm going to <coughs> draw a like a target. So top to the bottom and left to the right. So here <coughs> it's really not a perfect ellipse because due to the distortion of the lens, this part here is bigger than uh, <coughs> the, the, the part in the back. When <coughs> a perfect ellipse, all four parts should be the same size. So that's why I place this horizontal line higher. <coughs> Excuse me. I will do the same thing for the wine here. Here it's more even. So I trace my target and I connect each end. I start with the top and then I just copy the same size and the same curve for the bottom. You can see how symmetrical and even it is. Here it's not because the center of the ellipse is, not, is higher. I will do the same for the top of the glass. That is about the same size and shape as the wine part. It's very important to cut in half the glass to control the symmetry on both sides. So once I have that, I can draw the sides of the cup. I realize that my cup is a bit fatter than the one on the photo, but that's okay because you're just practicing ellipses today. But I hope you can see that it's more elongated. I 
place this following the line in the middle and then the base here as I said is higher and now I'm going to draw a more round ellipse Again, this is due to the, the camera that distorted the bottom part. So I check, I'm gonna refine the wine here. It's too pointy. Both sides were too pointy. So I make this part more round. This side, the same thing, more round. And I will do the same thing for the top of the glass. Now let's clean and erase what I don't need. I don't need. So now understand, I hope you understand better how to draw an ellipse. Let me know what you think in the comment box and subscribe for my videos. I'm almost done. After erasing everything, I'm going to darken the wine. I use the side of the lead for better coverage. And also because I don't want to press too hard. So it's not too dark and then I'm not gonna darken everything I want to show the reflection of the light on the glass et voila now it's your turn practice practice and see you next time